and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you my MAC lip liner collection so you can kind of get an idea of what they look like and kind of some of my favorites. Now, some of you that have been around a little while will probably know that I already filmed this video Oh God, it must be like two or three years ago now. It was one of the first videos I ever uploaded on my channel and I showed three of my favorite MAC lip liners. Now, I will link that video down below just so you can go over and have a little look. But um, when I look back at that video, it wasn't the best quality and you can't really see the colors of the lip liners that well. So now that I've kind of got a little bit more of a better setup and I feel like I can show you the colors a bit better now than I could then, I thought I would re-film it for you today. So I have them all here. Oh, 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 I have them all. So I don't have a massive collection of MAC lip liners because I do like them and I do have some staple favorites that I will probably always have and keep rebuying. But there are so many other brands out there now with great lip liners. I really like the Charlotte Tilbury lip liners. I love the NYX lip liners. So I don't have a massive collection of these anymore because I've tended to go for other brands. But I do still use them a lot, particularly on clients. I still feel like it's very, very much a makeup artist brand. So when I'm looking for colors, MAC is usually the first place that I go to. So I do have quite a variety. And yeah, they are still some of my favorites to use on clients because they're just really good staples to have in your kit and they're just nice lip liners at the end of the day. So yes, here they all are. You can see I have a variety of colors to show you. And so I guess I'll start with this one because this is like absolutely minute. So you can tell that this is like my absolute favorite lip liner. So this is stripped down. This is probably like the fifth one of these which I've gone through. It's my absolute favorite. It's just a really great, nudie brown shade which is perfect for blending into pinky nude lipsticks or more brownie nude lipsticks i love it with a pinky nude lip but with this blended in on the edge oh my gosh create an ombre i love that so it's just one of those really great all-rounders i use this a lot on clients as well it just seems to go with so many different skin tones in terms of its texture this I mean, any of you that have used MAC lip liners before, they are quite hard. So what I tend to do is I'll show you in one of the others. I will tend to rub them together like this because MAC lip liners are quite hard anyway. Um, but I just love this one. I've used it on so many people. If, it, if I'm doing a client and I don't know, and they say they want a nude lip, this is the lip liner that I use and I just absolutely love it. And I even use this when I'm not using necessarily a color which goes with this one. I'll use this as a base just to get the outline of the lip so I can get the lipstick and I just put the lipstick over the top just so it gives me that base to work on so I know the perfect shape of the lips. So that is my all time favorite. The next nude which I love is this one and this is called Oak. I should hold them up this way so you can see the color on the end. This is called Oak and this is a slightly darker nudie brown to strip down. It gives you a little bit more depth. This is great for that very 90s lip. I love this shade. Again, really good for creating that ombre with like a pinky nude lipstick or a nude nude. This is quite nice with Velvet Teddy because it is a little bit deeper than Strip Down. Another one of my absolute favorites. I just love these nudie brown shades because they just make you can make so much more out of the lipsticks that you've got when you've got these because you can mix them and blend them in. I just I just love an ombre lip and it's so trendy right now. Do you know what I love with this one? I love to do my lip, outline my lips quite heavily with this and then I like to use NYX Butter Gloss in Peanut Brittle over the top. Oh, it's, it's such a nice combo and it just looks delicious and golden and bronzy and just beautiful. And I've used that quite a lot on my clients as well. So this next lip liner is one which is quite iconic for MAC along with another lip liner which I'll talk to you about in a moment. And that is Whirl. Now this became really fashionable with Kylie Jenner who was doing that very statement 90s lip. This is, the best way to describe it is a nude which goes a little bit towards the more pinky plummy shade. So it doesn't give you a brown nudie lip, it gives you more of like, I guess more of a pinky plummy toned lip that's still like a brownie nude. I hope that makes sense. It's really, really pretty, great for a very statement, like if you wanted to put this all over your lips, great statement 90s lip so trendy, so fashionable. Kylie Jenner just made this color absolutely huge. So other than well, she was also, Kylie Jenner was also really well known for the shade Saw. And this for ages was sold out all over the MAC website. You just couldn't find it anywhere because she just made it like absolutely massive. And again, it's that very 
browny towards more pinky plummy shade beautiful statement 90s lip like if that's what you want go for this i think i mean what kylie used to do was like completely overline her lips and then fill it all in and she'd get these beautiful matte berry nudey shade on the lips and it was just so stunning like you know when people have that kind of um, 90s lip with the choker oh my god it's so trendy and cool and I just love this one these two shades because they are a little bit more towards the pinky spectrum I do quite like these with um, more deeper pink lipsticks just to create a nice base so you get a nice cr clean crisp line around the mouth or I use these a lot also on my um, more mature clients because they're not a nude nude they have got more a bit they have a bit more color in them so they give you a little bit more uh, life to the look which I really like so yeah another two really good lip liners by MAC there Another one of my personal favourites, and I wear this a lot with Honey Love, which is one of my all-time favourite matte lipsticks, and that is the shade Subculture. So this is more of a true nude, in the sense that it's a lot lighter than the ones I've shown you before. It is, again, towards the more pinky side, so it's kind of a light pinky nude, if that makes sense. So it's really great for if you're just wanting a light overline of your lips, or you just want something to, as I said, go with Honey Love lip liner, just to... Honey Love Lipstick, sorry, so it just creates that beautiful cleanness around the mouth but still gives you that definition. I love this because it is so subtle. Another one of my favourites along those sort of lines is Boldy Bear. Again, I love this with Honey Love Lipstick. It's just one of my all-time favourites. I think it looks so beautiful, particularly on blondes. Like, it just looks so beautiful. Again, this is a little bit more on the pinky side. It is like that pinky nude. Great for every day. Great for classic bombshell makeup if you want to do a clean liner and gold and pinky on the cheeks and lots of lashes. I always use this because it just gives you that very sexy but subtle lip. I just love that so much. I only have one true pink lip liner and that is this one. And this is called Talking Points. And this is a very vivid almost, I don't want to say almost neon, but it is a very, very vivid pink, but it's not like bright pink, it's kind of more a corally, it's like a bright pink with a hint of coral in, if that makes sense, so it's really fruity colour. I absolutely love this for the summer, and I love this with the um, Tanya Burr liquid lipstick in rhubarb. I think they are such a beautiful summery combination. It just makes the lips look so juicy and fruity and tropical, and I just absolutely love it. I haven't used this a lot on clients, to be honest with you, but this is one of my personal favourites for the summer, because it just speaks to me like it is summer in a colour to me. I just absolutely love it. <laughs> this next lip liner is one I actually bought to go with my, my Morange lipstick because I wanted, I love Morange but it did bleed a little bit on me at the time. I haven't worn it for ages but I remember at the time it did bleed a little bit so I wanted a lip liner to go around the edge of my mouth to stop that bleeding um, and this one is Lasting Sensation and I just absolutely love this. This isn't a true orange, like Morange is like very 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 orange, very true orange. This is more of a kind of muted orange. So it's not exactly the same color as uh, Morange the lipstick, but it's quite a good match. And I love this one. Again, just great with orange lipsticks. I tend to wear a lot of orange lips in the summer again. So it's kind of just one of those staples I always keep in my kit because if somebody says they want an orange lip, I find it so much easier to use a lip liner than go straight in with the orange lipstick. The great thing is about lip liners is you can get that very clean edge and get the shape of the lip that you want but it doesn't mean that it has to completely change the colour of the lipstick. So what I tend to do, particularly with this shade, is I'll outline the lips and then I'll take my lipstick and I'll use a lip brush and go all the way over the top of the lip liner. So I'm really only using it as a guard and a guide, which is what this one's great for. But also the colour in itself is really, really pretty. The last lip liner I've got to show you is this one and it is called Cherry. And this is a red. It's not a true brick red. It's more of a pinky toned red. And I absolutely love using this with a very dark true red because it kind of gives it that pinky ombre look on the lips. It makes the lips much more vivid, it makes it a lot more vibrant. It kind of gives a classic red lip a little bit of a twist and I just absolutely love the way it looks. Whenever I do a red lip, because I'm not one of those people, I feel like I can't really wear red lips. I don't know why, I just feel like they don't suit me whenever I wear them. I just feel like not like, I, I could look better with a different look on, if that makes sense. But when I see other people wear them, I'm always like, oh, 
like I, I, I want to wear red lip like that. So one of the ways I try to wear red lipstick, which I feel suits me a bit better, is by putting a more pinky red lip liner on first and then using a more true red lipstick to blend into it gradually. And I just feel like it gives it a little bit more of a funky twist, makes it quite different. There aren't a lot of people that do it in terms of like on their day-to-day -day wear. So I quite like doing it because I feel like it's a little bit different and it makes your lips stand out a little bit better. And it kind of looks like, oh, what lipstick have you got on? And it's like, hmm. I've got an ombre lip on with a beautiful lip liner. And I don't know if I mentioned the name of it, but that's called Cherry. So that is all my lip liners from my MAC lip liner collection. I feel like I need to add a few more colors to it. So I'm looking at it over there and I'm thinking, there are a few key colours there which I'm missing. So if you've got any favourites or if you're thinking, oh my god Alice, how have you not got that colour? Please just leave it down in the comments below so that I can go over and have a little look because I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, how don't I have a dark lip liner? Like a really vampy dark lip because I love dark lips. I don't know why I don't have one. <laughs> So I hope this video was a little bit helpful and gave you an idea of the types of colours that are available at MAC for the standard lip liners. Obviously there are so many more and they do a lot of different textures. These are just the standard lip liners. I will leave them linked on the website down below so you can go over and have a look. They do so many different types now, but yeah, these are just the kind of standard ones. They're £14 and I just think they're fab for every day and in my kit. So as always, thank you so much for watching and for clicking on this video and if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye!